Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. Here was another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question, and I might add comment, comes from Sterling uh, WH6WJ. Okay, um, and his question has to do with an NFED half wave. Um, and uh, he's got the My Antennas 8010P, 30 feet high, and going horizontal for 100 feet, turn 90 degrees, and the last 30 feet slopes down to the ground, and the feed point is near the ground, one foot above the ground. I followed Steve Ellington's idea on how to do 60 meters with the NFED half wave, and it works. It's not a, a mechanism that I know of, but you can look it up, Ellington. Placing the feed point higher than this, and the SWR for 60 meters goes sky high, which it normally would, and cannot be tuned with the radio's internal tuner. Good, the NFED half waves, 80 through 10, don't work on 60 meters. Good news is that the SWR for the other bands are very good with this low feed point, less than 1.5 to 1, with the radio's tuner except for 17 meters, where the SWR is very high, which is odd. I don't use 60 meters anymore and was wondering if raising the last 30 feet of wire will improve performance while having the feed point higher. Um, rules of thumb, okay. A dipole is a dipole is a dipole. It doesn't matter where you feed it. It still acts like a dipole. You've got a dog leg in the antenna, uh, and as I've shown in various modeling videos, that doesn't matter. Uh, you're fine with that. Now, bringing it down to the ground is going to affect uh, the performance of the antenna. Remember, the first rule of antennas is that everything affects everything. So having that feed point down low to the ground uh, could be a problem from a safety point of view. Also, there's probably an exposed uh, connection there that doesn't have insulation on it could be a problem for wildlife or children. Um, of course, some might consider the two synonymous, but uh, they'll go explore anything and touch anything, even if you tell them not to. So um, I'd say yes, get that feed point up off the ground. Um, now the second rule of antennas is that height matters. So if you can get that up in the air higher, even with the dog leg in it, you're probably better off. If it turns out now you're coming down at an angle, if swinging it up pushes it too far out, okay, then you can take the other end of it and dangle it down a little bit and make the thing work that way. Uh, dipoles are extremely versatile in antennas. You can do amazing things with them. So uh, go ahead and give that a try and uh, get that thing working for you and uh, have a good time with that antenna. I did test the um, my antennas and fed 80 through 10 and it's a great antenna. It works very very well. I've got the League's antenna up right now. They have a 40 through 10 antenna which I have lengthened to work for 80 meters and then put the capacitor in to allow it to work 75. So, quite an interesting antenna. So, there you have it. I hope that helps. Uh, enjoy working with that antenna. Um, there's also sort of a third rule. I won't say it's the third rule of antennas necessarily, but it's the rule that says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, if you're getting good performance out of it, um, you know, you can experiment with others, but be prepared to go back to the... Uh, configuration you had before uh, to get your good results with it. I'm glad that antenna is working for you. Until we next meet, 73.